Hi, Candy Flames here today with another Yankee Candle chit chat and review and today I'm talking to you about the whole of the autumn collection. So welcome back if you've been here before and if you're new to my channel then welcome. I'm pleased to have you here, thanks for stopping on by. Um, I'm here for you every Sunday, usually reviewing Yankee Candles in a large jar. So um, yeah, let's jump into what we thought of this one. So uh, hashtag fall in love with Yankee Candle collection for the autumn. So this was released in June, which I just, I know I moaned about it last week, um, but I just cannot believe what's going on with Yankee Candle at the moment, like releasing the autumn one in June, we've just had the Christmas ones released in July, um, I just don't understand it, like I know they've got to come out early, like I said before, but I just... If anyone knows what Yankee Candle, you know, what, what they're playing at and what's going on, please let me know in the comments down below because um, I just feel their releases are just all over the place at the minute. So um, anyway, we're talking about this one. We're talking about the Autumn Collection. Um, I have now lit these, reviewed them, and I just wanted to review them as an entire collection. I now will be putting them away until September time. But uh, yeah, so let me know down below any comments. I will get back to you if you've tried any of these, which ones were your favourites, you know, what ones you liked and what ones you felt worked well. So the overall collection sat here. Um, I understand in um, the United States you've got um, cardamom muffin, I think you called it. And obviously we don't get that here. <laughs> Um, I really would have liked to have tried that one. That sounds one that's, you know, right up my street. Please let me know down below if you've purchased this one, tried it out and, you know, what it's like. Let me know. I'd love to get my hands on that one. Shame that we didn't have it here in the UK. Um, so let's jump into this here. So looks. Now looks on this collection. I think they pulled it off. It's a nice looking collection. It works well for the autumn time. Um, so on the whole, yeah, I think it's a nice looking collection. Really good labels. I'm really loving the label there of the Golden Autumn. That is beautiful label, um, as is the Autumn Nature Walk. Really, really nice labels. Um, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Yankee Candle, you know, they rarely fail, do they, on the looks of their candles. They really look appealing and sort of draw you in. So, um, yeah, I was pleased with this collection overall. I will say, as much as I enjoyed the soft wall and amber one, that I wasn't getting autumn vibes with it. If there's one candle out of all of these that uh, didn't quite fit in with the autumn theme, it was that one. I know it's all about cozying up under a nice sort of comfy, cozy blanket. And you, you really do get that. I'm a fan of this one and I will be repurchasing it. I found it very clean, very comforting, really nice. It just did not give me any autumn vibes. So um, it's a strange one for me because like I say, I definitely repurchase it. But as for an autumn candle, just didn't quite fit in for me personally. Um, so we'll jump on anyway to the throw out of all of these. So the winner on the throw is the Apple and Sweet Fig. Um, I gave that one a throw rating of eight and I would probably increase that to maybe an eight and a half. Um, really good throw on that one. You know, just it was it was a well blended candle and I was so impressed with it. Um they was all good on the throw. I think uh, the, the Soft Wheel and Amber and the Amber Na the Autumn Nature Walk both scored six and a half on the throw. Uh, the only one that was a disappointment, the least on the throw, was the Golden Autumn. On throw rating, it's, it's just such a shame because it's a really pleasant candle to smell, especially with them ginger notes in there. This is like this nutty ginger floral. It's beautiful. Really is a good autumn smelling candle. But on the throw side of things, I gave it a five. Um, it just was not doing it for me. Too weak. Um, maybe if you try this one out in a smaller room, then it might work. So, um, yes, perhaps I will do that. I won't be repurchasing it, I'm afraid, because of the throw, which is such a shame. I feel last year we had the Woodland Road Trip collection. 
and uh, it was the yellow one out of that that was the biggest letdown for me. So, like, what's going on with the yellow candles at autumn time? I'm hoping next year, bring another yellow candle out and let it be the winner. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's the only thing for me on the throw. So, the cleverest scent here, I always do one that I feel is the cleverest scent, and that has to be the Autumn Nature Walk. Look at the label of it, and you really do feel like you're just, you know, walking through woodlands there really pulled it off lovely it is it's very vibrant fresh outdoorsy tree scents um it's it really is what it says it's you know out of nature walk and it is they blended this well they just pulled it off with this one i love the color of the wax as well um really impressed with that candle i will be repurchasing that one too so um, I think the only one out of this collection I wouldn't repurchase would be the Golden Autumn and that was because of the throw, not the actual scent. So the winner for me um, out of this collection, I have to say, it's, it's very close because I really enjoy the Autumn Nature Walk, but the Apple and Sweet Fig. I mean, if you've tried these and if you like your apple scents, you are just going to love this. It's like cozy comforting it's everything about autumn but it also this is why i love this candle really plays with it because it's so versatile you can use this for autumn time and you're going to be able to get away with using this one for christmas because of that cranberry and that fig that's running through it and um, it's going to be a great one for winter as well so this is one that i'm going to use straight through from september all the way through till sort of like february you know maybe early march time i'm really going to be using this i'm going to be repurchasing it i love it it's one of my new favorites so if there is just one i could buy out of this whole in collect whole collection and keep you know like it would be the apple and sweet fig but my two favorites was the apple and sweet fig and the autumn nature walk they definitely stood out in this collection very well blended um yeah and i was really pleased with the throw and everything so if you haven't tried any of these and you're thinking of just trying a couple um them two are just amazing but it's all personal is it down to the individual person and although the golden autumn did not work for me with the throw somebody that's got a very you know a smaller room they might find that it works for them or to put in a bathroom even so let me know if you've tried these like i say down below i love to hear you know all what you know what you've been trying out there and let me know if you have tried this what was it cardamom nut muffin i think that's what it was called please let me know if you've tried that because oh god it sounds lovely i am going to see if i can get my hands on this somehow so um next week i'm back with um i think i might go on to a woodwick one i've got a one in the large hourglass shape um of the woodwick and i've been using it a lot for i think i got it in the sale but we'll talk more about it next week but it's just become like one of my all-time favorite summer candles because yes although we're talking today about autumn i am still using my summer candles and it's just become one of my like staples i keep going back to it because it is it just brings a really nice summer atmosphere so and I've been really enjoying it and I thought yeah I, I know it's not a new one but I'm, I'm gonna I think I might talk about that one next week and then we'll see we'll see what we're going to jump on to I might you know let you might suggest a couple next week and see what ones you think I should review of course it all depends on the weather there's a couple I want to go up and do on my local beach um seaside driftwood and um what was the other one black coconut i'd love to get up on my beach review them for you but today it's raining so we'll just have to see what the weather's like anyway i uh, hope you all have a lovely week i will be back next week so yep bye